Dear Infinite here. So today, I'm going to be talking about my collection. Uh, as you guys can see, this is Hydra and Crossbones there. Um, probably one of the cooler things is my setup. I usually like to put, um, mix in what I think f I feel I get the inspiration for. So this is Crossbones with uh, Grim Reaper and Hydra facing the Avengers. As you can see, I got Ant-Man there, Thor, just a little bit of a setup, a little bit of a battle scene. And then up top here, I have some of my Marvel Selects, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can tell there, I have um, Ultron, but of course these Marvel Selects are a little bit bigger than the Marvel Legends, but a very, very cool look. There you see Iron Spider. That Iron Spider is actually a Marvel, well, not a Marvel Legends. I got it. Um, I ordered it from China, and it's really, really a good look to the Iron Spider. Um, better than the one that they came out with Marvel Legends, because the Marvel Legends one, uh, he doesn't have the actual Iron Spider look, which is the that back portion that you see there with the gold hooks. Um, but very, very cool. As you can see, that's a Marvel Select Red Skull and Thor. Um, in the background, some of my Marvel Legends. And over here, some of my old school uh, Toy Biz and Hasbro figures. As you can see there, I have Absorbing Man. I have the old school Black Panther, which is from Toy Biz. And yeah, I mean, just a bunch of cool figures. I have the old school Toy Biz Thor. And then down here, over here, I have... Um, of course, Ultron, and I have the Hulk Buster, and these are just a bunch of uh, my concept Iron Man. Uh, this came out with the concept series and the Iron Man series. Um, so these are just a bunch of different types of Iron Man. Of course, that's the Marvel Legends right there in the middle. That's also a Marvel Legends, um, and that one right there with the base, that's done by Toy Biz, that Iron Man. So these are a lot of the Hasbro and Toy Biz. This is a a double box set that came out um really really cool this is the old cartoon iron man um so that was a nice touch to uh iron man definitely got that set because that's what i grew up watching uh the old school iron man and then up here you have the new school ultron which came out by hasbro and then you have uh war machine captain america you have Bucky, Falcon, pretty much all the Avengers. Um, so I did that display. Just kind of like to show off the Avengers. You got Scarlet Witch in the corner over there. And then here is S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, this is just S.H.I.E.L.D. with Captain America. I gave it a S.H.I.E.L.D., a patriotic look. So I decided to put the uh, Statue of Liberty head back there. But this is S.H.I.E.L.D. in its entirety. And then down here, this is the war uh, that we all wanted. Uh, Thanos mainly in the back over there with the Black Dwarf. And then, of course, you have Proximate Midnight. And I, I decided to throw in there Ultron and, and some of those that wreak havoc like Red Skull. But this is pretty much the outlook of it. You know, you have a cool battle scene. And there's so much you can do with these figures. Um, here, down here, I have my Marvel Studio figures. Um, there's a lot more, uh, of course. I didn't, I haven't had time to set them out. But you know, Lady Sif. You have Yellow Jacket, the new Hulk Buster, another Hulk that came out with that double box set, and um, definitely uh, one of the figures that I really wanted was that Red Skull. Came with a ton of accessories. And then back there, as you can see, uh, Ronin, which that's the movie Ronin. I also have the Build a Figure Ronin, which is a cool look to Ronin. Um, down here, one of my newer collections, which I was really proud to get. Um, this is Electra. And you have Daredevil there. Um, and of course, Cloak and Dagger, um, which is two of the harder figures to get. And there you have a bunch of, you have Scarlet Spider, you have the Spider-Man from House of M, and Dr. Octopus, really, really nice touch to that. Down here, 
I, I show you the lizard. This is uh, the Builder figure lizard. So Lady De um that's Gwenpool. I'm sorry about that, Lady Deadpool. That's Gwenpool and um, a couple of the figures that came there with that. I also have Mysterio, but since I'm going to be talking about him later today in my show, um, you know, I didn't want to put him out. Um, so uh, Mysterio is, of course, I'll, I'll be getting into that and his affiliation with the Sinister Six. Here you have the three-pack Thanos, Doctor Strange, and Iron Man that came in the uh, Marvel Studios. And then down here are some of my Marvel Selects. If you ever see anything in boxes like this, this is Marvel Selects. Um, I, you know, I collected these for a while. Uh, you see the boxes there and then down here on my other set. These are the Marvel Select figures. Just to give you a, a look on that, Marvel Select figures are a little bit bigger. Um, for those of you that don't know, that's what Marvel Selects look like. That's a She-Hulk, by the way. And, um, yeah, my Marvel Selects usually are really cool figures because they come with really nice bases. Here you see, like, a smashed up car. Um, with She-Hulk, which really fits her description. She, she's powerful like the Hulk. Um, and then I got a couple more. Uh, there you have Ultron and Iron Patriot. And um, this is another one, uh, Iron Man over here. Uh, that's a cool look to Iron Man. Like the base that they gave that one. That's uh, That's actually, I think, part of the helicarrier. Or if I'm not mistaken, it could just be part of a, a jet. Um, and you see the smoke there. And that's the base for it. So this is a really, really cool Iron Man. As you can see there, there's the name, just in case you guys are looking for that. And that's another Marvel Select. So I pretty much collect a bunch of Marvel Selects. And um, down there you see Ronan, who's Hawkeye. The old school Luke Cage. There I have, uh, of course, Deadpool, X-Force Deadpool, and the old school Toy Biz, uh, Iron Fist. So, these are just a couple of figures from my collection. If you look there, another Crossbones, and you can tell I like to set them up. You see uh, the Toy Biz, Captain America there on the motorcycle. And then, of course, Baron Zemo, Black Panther, um, just... A really, really nice look. Uh, for those of you that are trying to get ideas on setups, uh, one thing that I definitely have looked on and caught my eye is dioramas. Unfortunately, I don't do dioramas. I can, but it's very time consuming. So I usually buy my dioramas or if not, uh, if I do have some free time, I make them. But definitely these are some of the setups. So I'm just trying to show you a little bit of my collection, of course, I can't show you everything, but uh, this is just part of my collection. And if you look up here, you can see I've been collecting for a while. So uh, a lot of a lot of cool figures. I'm going to go around real quick, show you this side. And this is uh, my X-Men collection, which is one of my favorite collections. Uh, there you see the Sentinels up top. Of course, I... I love Wolverine, so I have a Wolverine poster in the background there. Um, and of course, more Sentinels. So that's pretty much what it looks like um, as far as my as far as my X-Men. I have all different scenarios and different types of X-Men. So I try to pose them and, and put them in different scenarios, maybe sometimes even comic book settings. But this is what it looks like. Uh, there you have Apocalypse. And I did a little mix in with the Savage Land, of course. But um, yeah, you're probably wondering, well, how is Omega Red in the Savage Land? I just wanted to, you know, play around with them. Uh, here you have a concept Wolverine that came out in the X-Men Classics. Uh, that's actually not by um, Hasbro. That's by Toy Biz, if I'm not mistaken. So I have him there with the new Omega Red from Hasbro. And, of course, Bishop, which is a really cool figure that just recently came out. Um, also, I have the old school Bishop. So you see the old school Bishop there and the new school Bishop. Um, just a bunch of different types. This is a double box set that came out um, with Phoenix over here. That base is from the Toy Biz Phoenix, but this is the new Phoenix that came out 
in the double box set with my boy Cyclops over here. So this is the old suit Cyclops. And of course, uh, some of the old suits, uh, like the old outfit Wolverine and Storm back there. And of course, Colossus. Um, and down here, just another look to the X-Men. Uh, still working on my second builder figure of Apocalypse, which uh, I do have the head. I just was playing around with it, doing some artwork to it. Um, and of course, there you have another setup. Uh, you see my Mojo builder figure back there and a couple of the characters of the X-Men fighting. Uh, this is actually a custom paint job I did. Um, so really, really nice touch to that. That's Onslaught, by the way. That's the Builder figure Onslaught uh, from Toy Biz. So I did a custom paint job. Uh, if you want to see the original, it's up here. That's the original. And that's my custom paint job on Onslaught. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so this, these are the old school X-Men. I decided to throw Deadpool in there uh, just to add, add a little bit of comedy to it. And these are the old school X-Men Beast, Cyclops, uh, Jean Grey, Iceman. Over there you have Archangel or Angel. Um, and these are some of the old school villains to the X-Men. Of course, Magneto, The Blob, Toad, Mystique. You have there Pyro, Quicksilver. Um, this figure, really, really nice figure. Like what they did with it. That... That right there is from the old school. Um, those of you that saw the Evolution, X-Men Evolution. Um, yeah, so that's Avalanche. And like what they did with him. Pretty pricey to get. But of course, you could probably still get your hands on him. And then these are some of my Marvel Selects. These Marvel Selects are pretty cool. I'm zooming in so you, that way you guys get a better look. That's the newest Marvel Select, Beast. That also comes with part of the danger room. So I'm still building this danger room that you see there. Um, it's just a really cool display. Like I said, Marvel Selects have done a great job with um, just bases and dioramas. And this is the danger room. So it looks pretty, pretty cool. Well, not my room is the danger room. But uh, this is pretty, pretty nice the way they did it. Um, like the base and like how they set it up. And then down here I have more... Uh, Marvel Selects from the X-Men. These are Marvel Selects, so they're not Marvel Legends. They're a little bit bigger, but um, yeah. And then down here, of course, I have the old school look to the um, Walgreens exclusive. This is the Fantastic Four. And then up here, I know you guys are probably wondering how in the world. Yeah, I have it. Uh, it's the old school. This is the Blackbird. Um, from the X-Men, the old school 90s, uh, of course, if you saw the cartoons, the 90s cartoons of the X-Men. Um, and then I have here a couple of other figures like Gladiator, the new Archangel um, that was dropped. Um, most of you guys can probably find that in GameStop. And then, of course, I have my full builder figure there of the newest Apocalypse. And then going up. There you go, I have that set that came out, uh, that Deadpool set that builds the figure Sasquatch. And then going up here, I already showed you that. That's the old school Toy Biz Apocalypse, of course. I just wanted to get a good glimpse of all the Sentinels there. Bunch of Sentinels. And then over here, as you can see, more of my Wolverine and Deadpool. This is kind of like my tribute to Wolverine. Just a bunch of different types. There you have X-23, The Sun, Dakin. Deadpool, of course, played a major role in Wolverine. And uh, a bunch of Deadpools in the back there. And then over here, another. Of course, you guys are probably wondering, wow, like how many Sentinels does this guy have? Uh, I have a couple. Um, I decided, you know, when I was collecting um, the toy biz, I always would get like doubles or triples. So 
I have a bunch. Um, and then just more X-Men here. All different types. Of course, that's the Walgreens exclusive. Magic, you guys can check out that episode. I did that. And um, yeah, this is uh, the X-Men. And then, like I said, down there, I have more boxes, as you can see, of the Marvel Selects. Um, so anything really that you guys are looking at or that you see um, as far as in my collection is just a bunch of different scenarios that I decided to do. Right here you have the X-Force, at least most of the X-Force. Uh, you have Cannonball, Warpath, Domino, uh, Shatterstar, and there you see Strife, Fighting Cable. Um, so these are some that I have and also I have original box sets back there um, that's the builder figure puck and those are that's the whole set of course I do have puck out there with the alpha flight um, but these are just different scenarios here I have of course more sentinels and a bunch of just uh, different X-Men Jean Grey you see that old-school toy biz cable there and just a nice touch, as you can see, I have Wolverine there. Uh, one of Wolverine's greatest battles there. And then up here, kind of like a tribute to Wolverine. Uh, there you see Warpath, Gambit, um, and just a bunch of cool figures. Uh, there you have the original X-Men Wolverine. You have Colossus and you have Cyclops. Those are from the uh, Marvel Legends icon figures, and um, those are really, really cool. I like them because they're rather big. Those are about 12 inches tall. And then, if you didn't notice, I also have them in the back there. There's Nightcrawler and a couple more that are covered up by my Sentinels. Um, and then here, I have Thor. Uh, I like to do different shelves with different uh, characters. These are mainly Thor based characters as you can see Marvel uh, Marvel Universe decided to drop a couple of Sentinels and they also dropped uh, Frost Giants which I do have a couple of uh, I have one out of the box and I have about two more or three more that are still in the box but um yeah this is kind of like my Thor setup that's uh, back there, that's uh, Marvel Select Odin. So very difficult uh, to get now. You could probably still order it online, probably eBay or so forth. That's an old school Goliath uh, from Marvel Universe that dropped them. Not Marvel Legends or Marvel Select, Marvel Universe dropped them. Uh, those were the smaller three inch figures, but they decided to come out with some rather big figures for Marvel Universe. So pretty cool. And then down here, of course, these are the ultimate Avengers. There you have like that grayish look to the Hulk, Black Panther. You have Thor there from the ultimate Avengers. And then, of course, just a bunch of other Lady Jane, um, who's the new Thor and so forth. Um, I mean, Jane Foster, I said Lady Jane, Jane Foster. And a couple of the other. That's the, another old school Goliath there. And then Ares. Um, which is really cool. That's the Builder figure Ares. Not to get it confused with the new figure Ares. That just recently uh, was released. Not too long ago. Uh, so yeah. That's Ares. The Builder figure. Which if you can tell the paint job is a little bit different. Uh, and the builder figure looks a little bit more um, more sculpted as far as he looks about a lot stronger. And then, of course, I raise up there. Um, down here, more box sets. Uh, these are the double box sets Toys R Us exclusive dropped. I have a ton of those. Um, and then, of course, builder figures and more Thor figures there. There you have a really a Walgreens exclusive Loki. And then down there in the boxes, of course, Marvel Selects, um, which I, I love Marvel Selects. They're just really nice and they come with really fancy bases. And uh, 
of course down here you're looking at a glimpse of my thunderbolts which i'll be doing an episode on the two different types of thunderbolts um the one that came in the box set by san diego comic con and of course these thunderbolts and then down here uh more of my marvel selects which are really really cool and then these guys are a bunch of different hulks this is my hulk shelf if i'm not mistaken um, I have, I do have Marvel Legend boxes there um, of the of Ghost Rider. Uh, that was a difficult Ghost Rider for me to get, but uh, nevertheless, I have it. And um, and then these are from the House of M. Uh, some of these figures, and there you have Annihilus, which was a builder figure. And this is my whole collection. Uh, if you're looking at anything here, uh, yeah, this is the whole collection from. Uh, either the Fing Fang Foom build a figure set or uh, these came either in a in the House of M. Uh, so nice, good look. This is the Wrecking Crew, by the way. Uh, Wrecking Crew is just awesome to have. Bunch of uh, big figures that Hasbro did, um, and that's the Wrecking Crew you're looking at there. And, of course, back there, that's Abomination. Uh, you see him fighting the Hulk many, many times. And just more Hulk figures, different figures. Uh, there I have my Toy Biz exclusive Ant-Man carrying Wasp. And then, of course, my regular Ant-Man and a more miniature-sized Ant-Man. She-Hulk is there. Uh, that's a variant of Vision. Uh, he's, like, transparent there. And then... There you have Hulk from a double box set, Samson, and She-Hulk, and just more Hulk figures up in the top. There you have uh, Bruce Banner, very, very cool. Ultron, the Hulkbuster. Uh, back there you have the Barbarian Hulk, which was a nice touch to it. And then here are my... Uh, intergalactical figures. This is Galactus. These are all my uh, guys, my space guys. Silver Surfer. There you have the Heralds to Galactus. Of course, Star Lord and the crew. Uh, Nova. And yeah, these are these are more of my intergalactical guys. And these guys come really really cool, as you can tell there. I have a, cu a couple of the Builder figures as well. And these were well done. That group uh, is from a box set that came with all of them. Um, that was a, a Guardians of the Galaxy box set from San Diego Comic Con. And there you have Doctor Doom, Silver Surfer, and a Toys R Us exclusive group that I'm also going to be doing an episode on. Um down here you have uh the fantastic four one of the different fantastic fours because i have a couple of different outfits for the fantastic four but this is a, a set of the fantastic four that i really like and then of course a couple of custom things i did uh this guy right here dragon man i'll be talking about him in an episode very soon and then captain america there uh, I made that Captain America. That's the my my outer space version of Captain America. And of course, the Fantastic Four ship, Silver Surfer, down here, some of the older Guardians of the Galaxy that were dropped, and some of the that's the older set of the Fantastic Four that was in a box set as well. And then down here, I know you guys won't be able to see, but that's my uh, Builder Figure Galactus. With the scroll, there you have Mr. Fantastic, Silver Surfer, Outer Space Spider-Man there. Uh, that could be the Night Spider-Man. I, I confuse them sometimes. And then more of the scroll. Uh, and of course, Marvel, Captain Marvel, and the thing. So, yeah, this is really, really cool. One thing that I liked um, that I'm also going to be showing you guys real quick. Let me just give you a better glimpse of that. And then that's Howard the Duck, of course, uh, an original old school Marvel character since they dropped uh, 
Marvel dropped one of their movies on Howard the Duck. Uh, it's completely terrible right now if you watch it. Uh, very outdated. But here we have uh, Disney decided to come out with uh, Marvel Selects. And these were so awesome, the way Disney uh, made them. I like, uh, they look more of like the cartoon characters, but let me go ahead and show you a glimpse. These are my Marvel Selects. And um, there's a glimpse of Star-Lord. Uh, and this is a Disney exclusive. Come with a ton of accessories. So, and the base. So there you have interchangeable head and guns and so forth. Um, I'll be talking about these in more detail. But yeah, that's Star-Lord there. Uh, another one that I really, really liked was... Um, if you guys can see right here. There you have Rocket Raccoon and Gamora. Just a ton of weapons. Love the space suits that they're wearing. Um, and of course, interchangeable hands, guns, and so forth really cool base um and this is gamora yeah um i have all of them uh this was a set that was dropped by the disney um those of you that are trying to pick it up you can probably still order it but that's from uh marvel select from disney um and those figures are really really well done they they have a base i believe their bases if i'm not mistaken they look like they can actually be put together so that's a cool thing because that way you can have them like a set and you can set up a nice diorama for them um, in the background if you'd like. But yeah, these are Marvel Selects. And over here, as you can see, this is uh, really cool. This is, uh, I'm gonna be doing an episode on that. It's my Star-Lord helmet and my Star-Lord custom blasters that I made. Yes, I did that. So very cool. Then of course I did a episode on Black Panther the helmet. Here I have a cool setup. And if you're looking at it, yeah, that's the helicarrier from Shield. Uh my Shield characters are back here somewhere. Uh they're a little bit hidden. Sorry about that. Um Hydra facing again another section of my Avengers and then of course my Shield characters are there with Captain America. And those are the boys. The shield guys with facing Hydra and all these characters over there on that side and then up here a little bit more of aim against the Avengers different types of the Avengers that's uh, Bucky from a double box set and that of course is a newer version to Wonder Man so pretty cool I put that there here you have a couple more I'll be doing an episode on that old school Fing Fang Foom, that monstrosity that you see there. And here you have my Ghost Rider, Punisher. You have Moon Knight. These are all Marvel Selects, by the way, that you're seeing there. And then, of course, I did the Defenders box set. You guys can watch the episode on that. And down here, just a cool look, man to the scroll. These scrolls are so hard to get and they're very pricey. Um, and by the way, in the Captain Marvel movie, you'll see a lot more of them. Uh, the scroll definitely is a factor uh, against the Kree. And of course, these are more of my outer space figures. These are my intergalactical figures. Uh, there you have Guardian, of course, uh, the Walmart exclusive um, Thanos. And Alpha Flight, there you see Alpha Flight. These uh, Alpha Flight figures actually are from the Alpha Flight set. Uh, and over here, that was done by, I believe, Hasbro, one of the first figures. And then Puck from the Hasbro set came with Wolverine and Cyclops and Sabretooth. So really, really cool. And some Marvel Selects are mixed in here. As you can tell, that's a Marvel Select Thanos. And then some of the movie uh, characters from, of course, uh, Fantastic Four, the old movie. And then over here, you have my some of my Defenders. 
uh, Ronin is there mixed in with uh, Moon Knight, but yeah, you have some of the defenders, and then I did a little scenario of Wolverine and Ghost Rider uh, fighting hand ninjas, which you might not see that, but hey, why not, right? And then old school Spider-Man figures here. And this, now we're getting into my Spider-Man section, which is one of my bigger sections here. And as you can tell, that's my Spider-Man collection there. And my Marvel Select Spider-Man collection. And then of course, that's the Raft box set. which comes with Purple Man and Spider-Man, Swordman, and so forth. Um, and then over here, more of my Spider-Man collection. And Moon Knight. This is uh, the Defenders there, if you can tell, the Punishers there. They dropped Blade, which that was pretty cool. And that Bill's Man thing. And this is, of course, the Venom set, Poison, Scream, uh, Carnage. And that is a very cool Venom. That Venom actually is not part of that set. That Venom, um, if I'm not mistaken, is from a Spider-Man um, Spider Classics uh, wave that came out. And then, of course, Kingpin is in the background over there. Uh, only because I got Daredevil in the front. So... I decided to put, of course, Kingpin and Daredevil. Uh, gotta be somewhere there. And of course, you see Bullseye. And then down here, just a bunch more um, Spider-Man figures mixed in with some of the Doctor Strange figures and those and of that realm. So um, this is really, really cool. I would love to keep on going, but yeah, this is a good look at most of my collection um not all of my collection because all of my collection would require a lot more time but a lot of custom work and a lot of years took into this collection so i hope you guys enjoyed uh please subscribe hit that bell for the next notification and if you're wondering where i got some of these definitely comment um let me know uh if you're looking for something in particular maybe i'll be able to help you guys out and uh, yeah, definitely. So uh, subscribe, hit that bell for the next notification, and definitely hit us with a like. I'm G Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.